Hi, I'm Dennis. I'm German. Totally sorry for that. And here's another game from my childhood. Um, it's called Jumping Jackson and it was released for the Commodore Amiga 500. I think it was uh, also released on Atari, but I know it from the Amiga version. As you can see from the title screen, it's a music-based game. At least it has uh, very much to do with music and has a lot of great songs, actually which were made by Stefan Pieck, who later became famous for the soundtrack of the first Dune game, which was also released on, on an album CD, which was not very usual by that time. But uh, getting back to Jumping Jackson, this is uh, one of the games I really remember very well from my childhood, because I played it a lot, I really liked it, and I still think it... Um, has a great idea. It um, is well trans transported to a PC game. You have great graphics, good music, and it's a lot of fun to play. So let's just have a look by looking at the first level, which is kind of boring a little bit. So the goal is to turn on all these um, record players. You're doing this by just getting records. So you see this colored fields and if I color them all the same, in that case it's yellow, I get a yellow record which I can then put on this player. So with with each player you turn on another track um, of music is being played in the background so now we just have a set of drums and you can see this guy is also jumping um, in the rhythm of uh, these drums. So let's get the other record, and then I think some kind of blues guitar should start playing. So everything's turned on now, and if that's done, I just have to return to this um, checkerboard. And so, as you will see now in the second level, uh, this is not the only thing. We have a lot of items appearing on the screen, and also there are enemies, which are depicted by being musical instruments. In that case, it's a trumpet. So the trumpet always stops when you are standing on this checkerboard. You get extra points by drinking uh, the Coke. And now I see um, that there are three different record players. The first one is green. Turn it on now. And it's not only the same song over and over. I think it's for five or six different songs which could be played during the levels. Just have to see that I don't hit the trumpet. And you see there are teleportation fields which teleport you on other platforms. So again we have a blues guitar. Let's see if, if we can get a lead guitar too. No. We get vocals. Fine for me. Okay. Okay, let's continue. I'm just showing around uh, the levels, playing it and <laughs> talking rubbish in between. So the next one, I think you, you were chased by symbols. Yeah, right. And these are quite mean because they always take a predefined route. And if you're stuck in a, in a dead end, you cannot really escape. <laughs> because it's just going after you. So now I think... No, I have, not a, I have no problem because uh, the enemies cannot walk over um, turned on players. So let's just get the next record. I could actually just play it by... Uh, just because... Uh, <laughs> like to listen to these songs. I think for these times when it was made, uh, it was in the mid-80s, between mid-80s and the late-80s, um, it's actually quite good sound. And from that point I remember that my first computer was this Amiga 500 and it had decent sound actually. And you had fine music, fine sound effects, and after that my father bought a 486 computer which only had speakers and I had only this beeping beep, 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 beep. and that was all the sound I had and I knew in my mind that 
Actually, the older computer had the better sound. And yeah, that sucked. <laughs> Until he bought a sound blaster card for it. So let's just finish this level. Alright, so here's another one. So I can uh, take this pill. In that case, the, my enemy falls asleep for a while, so I have some time to <coughs> get some new records. You cannot save the game here. Um, this is controlled by passwords. At some stages, I think it's always after four stages, you get an extra level. And if you can make this one, then you get a password to get back to where you just stopped. So the number of levels, I don't know the exact number of levels, um, they are enough. So you're entertained for a while with this game. And um, I think this, it's, it has two level packs and each level pack has about 16 levels or so. At least I could not remember that I, I finished this game. And I, I've i been playing it since for years. Oh. So let's just listen to this music uh, while I sum up. So for the idea of this game I'd like to give um, a total of 4 points. Uh, 4 points because I think it's a good idea for a nice mini game but that's all. So it is unique, it's innovative, I like it. I haven't played any Amiga game which was at nearly similar to this one. So it's really fun to play but somehow you have these items and you get some, a very few items in the later stages and there are other enemies like a big drum which is rolling over the screen sometimes um, but it it lacks some new ideas in the later levels because at one time it will of course get boring too. However for the realization I want to give the full five points and if it's just <laughs> for the music which I like very much in this game. But I think it also has good graphics, a nice uh, nice com concept, the controls are very good for Amiga standards, very very good, because they react quite directly and um, you don't have the feeling you need to bite into your joystick and throw it out the window because it did not react or do anything which you wanted to. So, on the whole, they had a good idea and made a great game out of it, so I'd like to give 5 points for the realization. And I give 4 points for the overall fun, because it's really fun to play it. But somehow I know these levels, um, I could play them blind maybe, and so it is still fun to play and I still like to play it, but I'm not dying to play this game um, anytime. Okay, so, so much for jumping Jackson, I... Oh, shit, ran out of time. Okay, see ya.